So right after our Spokane or our city title there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say new container. Put a few containers here. I'm going to put an alignment. I'm going to say alignment. Say center. Say align center. What's that? For the child, I'm going to say new image asset again. I wanted this from asset because we're getting from our application here folder. What I'm going to pass here is going to be images and this is going to be light underscore rain.png. For save, let's see if something's going to happen. Oh, look at this and voila. There we have our image. Very cool. Now the next thing I'm going to put here is going to be another container which will change later. This is going to be container which will have our weather data. For now, I'm going to just say new container again. Alignment is going to be align center as such. And then for child, I am going to say new. What? Well, let's see. Just go say new text. And it's going to be. I'm going to just say one, two, something like this. I just say 67.8. There we go. So you see it's small and it's out there. What I'm going to do is let me go. Why not create another text style here? In fact, it should be here. I'm going to say text style. This is going to be weather. Let's say temp style. It's going to return new text style. Give it color. Let's see, color is going to say white. Let's give a font style. It's going to be font style, normal. Font weight. I want this to be, let's see, font weight. It's going to be about 500. And font size, I want it to be about 49 point, let's see, 49.9. Okay, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to call it inside here. Oops. Style, I'm going to just pass that. Okay, let me go ahead and format everything so it looks decent. All right, so if we go back to, there you go. See, the problem here is that it's on top of our first widget image here. Again, the reason why all this is happening is because we are inside of a stack. So that's why we're also using containers to make sure that everything is actually contained correctly. The idea is to have this to the left here. So what I'm going to do inside of our container here, I'm going to align a few things. So margin, I'm going to say const. going to use the edge from left to top. I'm going to say 30.0 from left. And top, I'm going to give about 250. Okay, that's what I need. And then the rest, I'm going to just get 0 0.0. 0 .0. 0, .0. 0. Let's see what's this going to result. Right, there we go. And I'm going to get rid of this. And there we go. Okay, still way to top here. Maybe from left to top, let me maybe say 290 from top. There we go. We'll change all of that, no problem. We'll get there. We, we'll play with these numbers, but at least we have the basics uh, all set up. I think now is the time for us to start looking at our API and start setting and start setting things up so that we can actually start receiving um, data from our API. So if you are just now joining us, please go back to the previous videos where I talk about creating an API ID, which is going to be needed for you to be able to actually fetch the data that we need. So what I'm going to do uh, to organize things a little bit further, I'm going to go inside of a lib here, screen new. 
Uh, let's see, I'm going to create a new directory. I'm going to call this util for utility classes and objects and whatever we else want to add. So in this util here, I'm going to add a few things. So inside of this util, I'm going to right click, I'm going to create a new dart file. I'm going to call this utils for utility. Okay, it's going to be very simple. First, I'm going to create a final call this app ID, which is again that ID that I spoke about. And I'm just going to say here, insert your app ID here. Okay. So this is where we're going to put the app ID, that long string mixer of strings and integers and so forth that you will receive once you apply or sign up for the open weather map that or API again that's very important so you get that and you paste it in inside here without with no spaces and so and the next thing here I'm gonna say final this is gonna be what I call default CD and we'll see later why we have this I'm gonna call this Spokane now this just allows us to simplify our code so whenever we have certain values that are constant there that we're going to be using in our application it's always a good idea to put that extra stuff somewhere else that way it's easier for us to invoke that right so whenever we want to change our api or add our api id we come here and put it here if we decide to change this uh, instead of spokane if this is my hometown you can put a uh, default city whatever whatever you are that's not a problem okay but it's nice to have this flexibility and so now we go to climatic here to make it so that we can use it i'm going to say import forward slash utility or utils looks like I need to go further there we go utils and I'm gonna say util let's say util not util util and utils like that I think one just will nope has to be two now look what happens here so the reason why I have two dots is because I'm saying we have to jump two folders or two directories to get our utils because you notice we inserted a library because that's where everything is and then for this file here which is climatic.dart it's inside of what UI but now we're saying okay we want to get to util we have to get out of UI which is one dot and then once we get out of UI, we're going to be at library, and then we have to go to utils. So another dot, so which means we have to go to a different directory. And then, and once we are there at this level, we go for a slash and call it util, right? And then we'll be able to access our utils at Dart. All right, we'll use that in a second. So I'm going to copy and paste inside of utils here my own API ID. I think this should be app API ID. Oh, API ID, not app ID. Either way, doesn't matter. All right, so I'm going to paste it in mine here. It's going to look something like this, okay? Very like a gibberish. Do not use mine, use yours. Okay, so once I have that, it's all set for me. So now is the time for us to see um, how can we then, once we have. How can we then go and fetch this information? This is a sample one. So if you use this, you will always get this information as we spoke before. Now the correct URL is going to be something like this, which means you're going to say API, open blah, blah, blah. And then we will have to pass the app ID. Oh, it is indeed app ID. Doesn't matter. Okay, app ID, which is then you pass this. And then we have this end units we can say imperial or metric imperial is going to be fahrenheit for weather or temp and metric is going to be celsius so whichever you want then you can do that of course all of this information you can find uh if you go to openweather.map.org and you can read all of that which i encourage you to do and i'm very confident that you can do on your own this is part of building you up as a developer and of course, if you have any questions, you can always ask, but it's very, uh, they explain it very well. Okay, perfect. So this is the link we're going to be using. And as you said, this is how things are going to look. So the idea here is to fetch the data in this format. We're going to get the temp, humidity, and min and max. That's all we're going to get. If you want to get something else, feel free to get that is your prerogative. 
So what I'm going to need to do you to do is to make sure that you can see something like this. And as you change this, let's say San Diego, like that, this is in California, sometimes you get errors like this, right, which means it says this is not happening because we don't know what San Diego like this is. So you want to actually say plus so we can see and there we go it says in san diego is indeed 69.8 degrees right now again this is fahrenheit if you want to change this to celsius you say metric right and you're going to see it's 21 celsius in san diego once you have your api key or app id in this case pop it in like this and start playing around right add your cd like we like i did here if it's more than two words make sure you separate them with a plus and then hit and see exactly how this actually changes all right perfect so this is what we're going to be using in the next video to extract the data that we want and go from there i'll see you in the next video